Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the complete iterative statements in shell scripting. So iterative statements in shell scripting are divided into three categories. So one is for loop. while loop until loop so th these are the three categories of iterative statements so we'll see one by one so the syntax and later we'll see the implementation part in the terminal so coming to the for loop so whatever the iterative statements we are using we need to take care about the three things one is loop variable loop variable initialization the second one is condition we need to write one condition right and the third one is updation updation of loop variable loop variable so why we have to concentrate on these three things so whatever the iterative statements we are using either for loop or while or until so we need to write a condition because so the iterative statements means repeatedly executing some set of instructions and after finite set of instructions i mean after finite set of uh, uh, executing how finite number of uh, times uh, at one moment we need to terminate the loop so otherwise it will be keep on executing the instructions that means it will move with the infinite loop so in order to terminate the loop, we will write this condition and we need to write one loop variable. We need to take one loop variable and we have to assign some value and in every iteration, in every iteration. So we need to update the loop variable so that it will affect on the condition so that after every iteration, we'll check the condition and if the condition becomes true or false, then based upon the condition, we are going to execute the instructions. That means we are going to enter into the loop. So that is the importance of these three things, right? So coming to the syntax for this for loop, coming to the syntax for this for loop. So for loop can be implemented in number of ways. So I will tell you one by one. So one thing, so write down the for keyword, the variable for variable in, write down the values one by one. So value one, space value 2 space value 3 and so on we can write any n number of values but be careful that you should not use any comma it's a space separated values and here use a do and write down the commands here to be executed and here go with the done and this is the syntax for for loop so here this variable is a loop variable this variable is a loop variable and these are the starting value and the end value will be the condition so whenever the variable will be holding the value one in first iteration value two in second iteration value three in third iteration and so on so when it reaches to the last value that will be the condition and that will be the last time the set of instructions being executed right so this is one way to execute the for loop so i will execute everything every example in the system right don't worry about that so first of all let me tell you about the syntax then we'll go with the example and this is one way one way and the next way is for variable for variable in dollar write down the sequence start value difference stop value and do write down the commands or instructions you need to execute in the loop and done so here in this case so we are going to write one sequence so for example if this sequence is written as sequence 1 2 10 so here the start value is 1 so here we are taking three values 
other than the sequence the first one is a one the second one is a difference between one uh, value and another value and the next one is a stop value so it will start with one so it will start with one and the next iteration the variable will be holding the value with a difference two one with a difference two it's a three next five next seven next nine so the output of this particular value is one three five seven nine so the variable in first iteration it will be pointing towards one in the second iteration it will be pointing towards three in the third iteration it will be pointing towards five seven and nine right so if it is one see it, if it is a sequence of one and three and ten so what is the values here it will start with one so three difference so it next value is four next value is seven next value is ten so the value of variable will be one four seven and ten so this is how we have we can execute this sequence right so this is the second way of executing the for loop and the third way so we can also use the array okay in the previous sessions we have discussed about the array how can we initialize the array how can we access the array so i will post the link in the description so that you just follow that to know about the arrays concept so for variable in give the array so if you want to give the array dollar curly braces array name subscript and give the at the rate symbol so that it will access all the values so this is the array elements so we can also pass the array so we can give the space separated values you can give the sequence you can give the array and one more way is instead of using the sequence use the curly braces and write down the value one and two dots use the two dots value two so it will print it will start uh, assigning from value one till value two okay for example if you give it as one dot dot five so the variable will hold the values between one two three four and five so instead of writing the sequence we can also specify the values in curly braces so these are the different ways we can execute the for loop and also we can write the syntax of uh, in c language so whatever the syntax we are using in the c language the same thing we can use in the shell script also so variable in sorry you can also remove this one so use the double parenthesis initialization initialization semicolon condition semicolon and updation updation close this one so like this also we can execute the for loop so the for loop can be implemented in these many ways right and we'll see the practical thing that means i will execute a small example on the terminal and i will show you so before that all the shell programs should be executed with the help of dot sh extension so dot sh dot sh is nothing but an extension shell programming so just be, uh, in order to write a program just type in the terminal so in the terminal dollar so type here vi file name file name dot sh so without using sh also we can execute but in some cases we can't execute the programs right so it's better to practice that if you are using any shell programming if you are any writing any shell programming so use the extension dot sh right and then you need to give the permission execute permissions for this particular file in order to give the execute permissions so execute permission in order to give the execute permission so use the command chmod so already we have seen this chmod command in our previous sessions chmod plus ex so here x stands for execute right so r for read w is for write so x is for execute x execute so file name dot sh so automatically this particular file will be getting the permissions of execute and in order to execute the program run the program in order to run the program so use dot dot 
स्लैश स्लैश फाइल नेम डॉट एस एच सो बाई यूजिंग दिस वन और यू कैन सिंपली यूज एस एच फॉलोड बाई फाइल नेम डॉट एस एच सो यूजिंग दीज टू कमेंट्स वी कैन एग्जीक्यूट द प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज विदाउट यूजिंग द एक्सटेंशन एंड विदाउट गेटिंग द परमिशन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ सिंटेक्सेस विल नॉट बी वर्क इन यूर प्रोग्राम right so it's better to execute in this way first write down first create a file by using the vi and dot sh so write down the instructions in the vi editor after that save that file and give the execute permissions for that particular file by using this command ch more and then in order to execute the program use a dot slash file name dot sh or sh file name dot sh so using uh, one among these two commands will execute the program so hope you understood this uh, different syntaxes of uh, for loop so different ways we can execute the for loop so i will execute each and every program and for all the syntaxes which i have shown you so we'll stop here and if you are having any doubts uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section and uh, now we'll move on to the terminal and i will show you the practical uh, uh, demonstration of this particular for loop in the next session we'll cover the next two loops that is until and while loop right so Let's move on to the terminal. Hello, friends. So just now we have seen the syntax for uh, for loop in shell scripting. So now we'll execute a small program so that if you are having any doubts, that will be clarified. So first, let us open the Ubuntu terminal. So here, uh, so all the shell programs should be opened with the help of extension dot sh. So I will go with a bi. Uh, for loop dot sh so change to insert mode so we'll see all the syntaxes so first for element in give the values one value, value two. so 10 space 20 space 30 space 40 space 50 do echo dollar element and done so escape save this one and give the permission okay ch mod execute permission plus x followed by the file name for loop dot sh so automatically the permissions have been given for execution of this one so execute this by using dot slash for loop dot sh so automatically we'll get the values right or simply you can also use sh for underscore loop dot sh so you will get the values now this is one way how we can execute the for loop the second method so instead of writing this one you can also specify the sequence right so i will specify the sequence so dollar parenthesis sequence give the start value i will start with the one and give the difference uh, sorry stop value uh, so give the difference between the values so i will go with 1 and 10 and now element so save this one and execute the program so that will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 because we have given the difference as 1 so if you specify the difference as uh, any other number so i'll i'll give the difference as 3 so now you can observe the save the file and execute so 1 4 7 10 so the difference between the values will be 3 so it will include the stop index it will start with 1 and it will exit with 10 itself now the next way of representation is so using curly braces using curly braces and specify the range of values specify the range of values so 1 dot dot 5 so let us check whether it will be printing the thing or not so w sorry wq so sorry use the another method for executing this for loop so this one slash dot slash for loop dot sh so it's better to use this one to execute the program so that you will get a perfect output see you will get the values range from 1 to 5 1 dot dot 5 means 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this is one way we can execute the for loop so once again i will repeat so VA for loop. So instead of giving here, so I will again use dot dot two. 
execute exit 1 3 5 so that means we are giving the difference right see 1 2 5 with a difference 2 1 2 5 with a difference 2 so if you give 1 2 10 with a difference 2 so you'll get the values 1 3 5 7 9 right so it's always better to use this one to execute the programs right so if you use an alternate method like sh for loop dot sh you will not get the result accurately okay it's better to use this this command to execute the programs and the next way is arrays so by taking the arrays so consider the arrays so some a is equal to so take 100 200 300 400 500 so i'm taking some values now instead of taking all these things for element in I take give the values so dollar curly braces a square braces at the rate close the square braces close the curly braces curly bracket so that we'll get each and every value in different iterations so go to the save save option so and execute this one uh, sorry okay see now we got the values 100 200 300 400 and 500 so for after every iteration the value will be assigned to the particular loop variable element right so this is how we can execute the for loop in different ways and one more thing so we have already done with uh, the syntax which we have written in the c program right so we will we'll also use the same thing so for uh, use the parenthesis i is equal to sorry element is equal to 0 semicolon element less than or equal to 10 semicolon element plus plus so print the element so this is a syntax which we have studied in c language so e even this will execute the program that means it will display all the elements from 0 to 10 because we have given from 0 from 0 to 10 so if you give some 5 from 5 5 to 10 so it will display all the elements from 5 to 10 see 5 to 10 so these are the different ways we can execute the for loop in shell scripting so hope you understood this for loop uh, execution of for loop in shell scripting so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, for loop uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much